Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're going to be learning how to solve multi-step word problems. But for the first problem, I'm going to just show you guys the steps and I want you guys to find out the answer. Because this the first problem is kind of tricky. And I'll, I'll just give you guys the step. So first you would do 3 1 fourth. Wait, first step, 3 1 fourth times 5 eighth because um, Jackson bought... Uh, he gave five eighths of the total amount of candy, which is three one fourth pounds of candy, to the first trick or treater. Okay. After you're done with that, you'll do. Wait, the second problem. Three one fourth minus x, and the answer will be x. Okay. I don't know what answer you'll get, so yeah. And then the third problem will be x divided by 12 okay yeah and one tip I'll give you guys or like two tips um, is that whenever you're subtracting or adding make sure you have the same denominator and whenever you are doing division with fractions make sure you flip the um the divisor okay so over here 12 would be the divisor okay so now questions two and three, four, oh, we'll do it together. So Kara has $15.75 to spend at the candy store. Her mom gave her an extra $2.40. Okay, let's find out how much she has first. So she has $18.15. One, two, okay, so... How many candies can she buy if each candy costs 80 cents? Okay. How about... Yeah. So now... We solve... The... Equation... looks like we'll have to round it okay so we got our answer she'll be able to buy 22 pieces of candy and she'll have some change Wanda had overdrawn her account by $13.29, so the bank is charging her $10.50 fee for each day that her account is overdrawn. After three days, she made a deposit of $275. How much is in her account now? So, we know that she gave money after three days, so... We have to multiply $10.50 with three. So that will give us $31.50. And we also have to add that with $13.29 because that's how much money she has overdrawn. And now she has, she has made a deposit of $275. And now we have to subtract that with her debt or like how much money she has to pay. So that will give us how much money she has currently right now in the bank in her bank account. So she will have $230.21 in her bank account. A driver's taking pictures, a diver's taking pictures of a sea turtle 37.4 feet below sea level. He then swims up 14 one half feet in order to take pictures of some anglefish. Then he goes down he goes back down three one third three one third feet. What is the location of the diver now? So okay, yeah, it's pretty easy. I think we can solve this. So thirty seven point four feet below sea level. So then he swims up, so you'll subtract that with fourteen point five, which will give us six two, 
9. And we have to subtract it because, um, so suppose this is C and he's right here, okay, at 37.4 feet. Then he swims up 14 one half feet. He swims up, right? So we have to subtract the negative number to, or usually, yeah, we would add it, add the negative number. So like neg negative 37.4 plus 14.5. Okay, and here you would just subtract 37.4 with 14.5 and that'll give you your answer. And then he swims up 14, uh, one half feet. So right here, he would be approximately here. So 22.9, okay, B. Then he goes back down, okay. So 22, 9, 10, over 10. Cause um, we do nine over 10 cause nine is in the tenths place. So then he goes back down three one third feet. So now we have to add them together cause it's still negative. Don't forget 37 point uh, four was greater than 14.5. So it will still remain negative. So we're gonna add with three one third. So that will give us ten ten over the thirty, which will give us oh don't forget to put this on thirty twenty five and then since it's thirty seven over thirty we can add one more to the whole number which will be thirty six seven over thirty. So she is currently 26 feet, 26, seven over 30 feet below sea level. Yeah, guys, I hope this video helped you. And sub don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Bye.